I just can't let you go Lord knows that I've tried to You said I was the only one Hey everyone, this is Kelly from Empire Tarot. Yes, I am back doing your collective love readings. I will be here daily to do these love readings for you, any and all signs. All of you are welcome. Please do smash the like, subscribe button. If you are a new subscriber, if you are returning, welcome. So happy to see you all back here again. I will be uploading between 9 and 9.45 p.m. Eastern Time. If you want to get a personal reading, there will be a link in the description box below. Okay. Let's get into this. All right, collective messages for the week ahead for you guys. Hope you're all doing well and had a fantastic weekend. Let's see what the messages are for the week going forward. October 30th, Happy Halloween. All the way up through, I believe it is November. Gosh, I can't even believe we're into November already. October 30th. Up through November 5th. Wow, yeah, that's going quick. Okay, you're starting off with the Ten of Swords. Okay, something definitely ending here, but there is a light on the horizon here, and a new love offer is coming in. There's a new beginning happening. Somebody's coming in after something has ended here. There's a finale. Somebody is coming in to make up for betrayal of some sort after a breakup or something falling apart. Could be a king of swords. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Okay, let's take a look and see. That would be um, masculine or feminine energy. Okay, so it's something to do between a King of Swords and a Queen of Wands here. Okay. Hmm. Someone was definitely feeling betrayed. Uh, there might have been some cheating or running around that was happened or had happened. Um, and it looks like there's this desire to... I don't know who did what, but it looks, I don't know, honestly, I don't know who did what, um, but it looks like someone wants to try to offer their love, like to make up for something that another person or that somebody did. So yeah, I mean, I feel like this week is, is going to happen this week. So something has ended and somebody walked away either that because of deceit or lies or deception or some theft or cheating or something that might have happened there's someone coming to make amends a proposal a love offer a romantic offer of some sort for sure to you so you know it, it's between two people though i'll tell you that and it's it seems like it's going to happen this week here's the two of cups there's definitely like trying to figure it out weighing the options making some kind of decision you know somebody's definitely coming clean and showing all of their cards yep being upfront and honest opening up acknowledging mistakes that were made for sure wanting to try to reconcile hmm. bring things back into balance you got a two and a two here. My gosh, try to like meet in the middle, meet halfway. Can we talk about this? I'm really sorry. I feel like there's, I feel like there's like apologies coming in. Some kind of like, I feel like this is coming to you. You could be a fire sign. You could be an air sign or any sign really. You could have that in your chart anywhere. It, I feel like it's coming towards you. Something might've happened. It could have been for some of you like, Two people split up. One did something. Another did something. You guys went your separate ways. You were single. You know, someone got involved with another person or something. And I don't know exactly what happened, but whatever it is, it's just like, can we just let bygones be bygones? Like, apologies. Can we clear the air? Try to make up. Come back together. Weighing the options. Talking things through. That kind of energy happening here between you and this person. Could be a Scorpio. Okay, yeah, look at this. The Three of Swords. 
There's some serious heartbreak happening here, or maybe an argument. It doesn't have to be infidelity. There could have been like somebody was stealing or just some like running away from a relationship or like hitting rock bottom. Yeah, just kind of like you're just ending something. I mean, it's tough going. There was definitely some kind of like ending that happened here and it was tough. Yeah, but it looks like, yeah, I don't know, just like an offer. Somebody wants to try to make something up here to you and try to fix it. See if you guys can get back on track to open up and have this, you know, like I feel like someone realizes here, like what their life purpose is, to get some clarity, like their, their final judgment, you know, like shit, like, oh, got to do something like they, they get this calling, you know, don't want to lose you. They don't want to mess up. They've messed everything up. They don't want to mess everything up. Wow. Empress in the reverse. My goodness. I mean, this is like highly dependent energy. This is someone who is very needy and, and maybe even just greedy or someone who's just like all about themselves, very um, materialistic or just... And very shallow, you know, like um, this can be an energy of someone. It doesn't necessarily could mean it could be you. It could be somebody else. Or it's just an energy of someone who's just like... You know, it's kind of like gorgeous on the outside, rotten on the inside, that kind of thing, you know, like a shell of a person I'm hearing, like no soul. Uh, yeah. Look at that. The Empress and the Emperor. Like someone, it was like a match, but someone was, one person was just not upright for sure, you know. One person was very stable. One was very unstable. That's what, I, that's what I'm seeing. And I feel like whoever the one was that was unstable is, like, aware of this. They're, like, they're having some kind of eye-opening, like, an awakening about it. They're aware of this, and they want to try to, like, fix something here try to make something like huh, they just want you back they want to make something work i guess they were the one that was unstable they're heartbroken by an argument or a disagreement or you know maybe if they went with somebody else it was a third party involvement heavy duty energy so i feel like you know they're gonna come in very romantic this week try to talk to you want to get together with you and talk and try to just get together and have a conversation and just tell you like i just feel like spill the beans i want to tell you everything that's been coming to them this awakening realizing that that you know they don't want to be left out in the cold they want to recover this whole situation now with the five of pentacles in the reverse they might be struggling financially and they're trying to get their money back as well i don't know what that means or they owe you money they want to pay you back if they took money from you to yeah look man heavy burden here this person is like they're exhausted i feel like the message i'm just getting right now is it was better with you than it is without you that's what i'm hearing that's part of their awakening like they had it so good with you i'm hearing they took advantage of that and life out there life out there without you they're struggling even if they're with somebody else they're struggling it was better with you they don't they didn't struggle with you i think maybe they needed to see that Yep. Oh, they're coming in to recoup. Get back the family together. Get back with the kids. Get back with you. Get back whatever your situation is. Let me take a look at your energy. What do you want? What do you want? Oh, wow. You've got some heavy boundaries up here. Yeah, you're in like standing your ground you've got some serious boundaries big time <laughs> you got some serious law <laughs> you know you gotta go to church <laughs> i don't even know you've got some serious laws here with the hierophant and like standing up for yourself like 
you've got rules and regulation. Wow. You it's like you need to go back to school. You need to go you need to go learn to do what the right thing is. I feel like you're like kind of drawing len, uh, lines in the sand with this person. Like you need to go back to school. You need to get go to some kind of institution. You get you got to go get yourself right. Like just coming back into my life isn't going to work. You just can't come back in. Like you got to go get schooled on how to be a normal human being. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but it just looks like you've got some serious like probationary ish going on with this person uh, you just really have like your you got your dukes up with this person you know like here's here's the plans here's the ideas you know if you're gonna pay me back you're gonna have to like clean my pool for like three months <laughs> i mean you know, putting them to work or something i just you're very patient. Like, I'm in no rush to take you back. I don't see you really being in any kind of energy of, like, I don't need you. I don't see you being in any kind of energy of, I need you. You're more like, I don't need you. I don't need to have this back. I mean, you are the one who needs this. That's kind of what you're saying to them. Like, you're the one who's in the position. So I feel like you personally are the one who can dictate how you want it to go. You know, because <clears throat> they, it looks, it looks like this other person screwed up and they're coming to make amends and you're the one that can say, well, this is how you can make it up to me first, but I'm not letting you back in the door or you can go. I mean, you, you look like you have some pretty strict rules for anyone like for this person to step foot in your house, house symbolically meaning your life. Yeah, that's kind of what I feel like you have going on here. I don't feel like you, like you're pushing back on any kind of commitment with them. <clears throat> I don't, <clears throat> maybe you don't trust them or you just feel like a lot of damage was done and they got to pay you back first. Yeah, you have a lot of like moving away energy here from this person. <clears throat> I don't know. It must have been a lot of damage done. A lot of stuff. Um, you know, if there was like theft or, you know, betrayal, that kind of stuff. I don't see you just, no, I just don't. I don't see you like eyes, arms wide open, like, come on back. Yeah. Want a beer? I don't see you doing that. Mm -mm. Okay. Interesting week ahead for you. Let me take a look and see what other messages there are for this week. Okay, well, positive vibes are in the reverse. Wealth, health, and abundance are in the reverse. So you're not too happy about this. I mean, if this person, first of all, if they owe you money, you don't feel like like you're not too confident you're going to get it back. You know what I mean? I don't know. It's just something like you maybe you don't trust this. Like they're just coming back because they're broke, busted, and disgusted, and they're trying to get in. But you don't really trust that they're going to follow through with anything. Is that it? Like, maybe it's just pipe dream because they're just, maybe they got cheated on. They might have went with somebody else and they got betrayed. Now they're coming back to you. Yeah, there's something going on. I think you know your story better. But I don't think they have a lot of money or have any way to take care. They're, they're coming back not in a better shape than when they left you. That's for sure. And it's kind of like, I feel like you're like not so positive that they are going to be able to bring any benefit. Yeah, I, I almost, yeah, you've got boredom. It's like, oh gosh. I, that's why I feel like if this person was in much better position than they were before they left you, then maybe they could come back and be like, hey, I actually did better. I actually got a really great paying job. I got myself set up at a better place. You know, I'm doing very well than when I was. I can pay you back everything I owe you. I, I like, I've upped my game. I straightened myself out. I'm, I'm not cheating. I'm not doing this. I'm like, you know what I mean? I, like, I found God. I found Jesus. I don't know anything like that. I kind of feel like this person maybe is just more like they didn't better themselves. They just are scrambling because they're in a bind and they're kind of trying to come back to you. <clears throat> I, I kind of get, like, that's the vibe you get, and it's boring. 
like you're like no you're just gonna come back in and leech or you're just gonna try to you're not coming back to make amends you're just coming back and making amends so you can get in do you know what i mean like you've got other plans it looks like and you're choosing your own path you know which is kind of a bummer in a lot of ways because i wanted to give a better reading for you but i feel like sometimes shit happens in life right sometimes it does people I'm not going to blow smoke. When have you ever known me to blow smoke? All these years I've been here, right? Sometimes smoke gets blown. Sometimes readings are like crazy, insane, good. And it's, it's just, just magic happens. But sometimes you get people that are just, you know, and this doesn't have to be a, a romantic reason too. This could, this could be in anybody. This could be anybody in your life. This could be a friend, you know? You do things for people out of the goodness of your heart. You don't expect anything in return, and they wind up ripping you off. And then you're shocked and surprised and think somebody's going to do that to you, you know, because your intentions were good. And then they come back, and then they're like, oh, I'm really sorry. And then they, you think they act like they want to make amends to you, but they're really just trying to rip you off again. I mean, that happens in life. Sorry, right? It does. And I just kind of feel like, you're seeing something here, or you will at least, maybe with this person, whoever they are, could be person next door to you. I don't know. But whoever they are, I just feel like this person is going to be coming in this week and trying to, you know, you know, give you the love. They're going to try to give you the love to try to, you know, come back in a little bit here. And mm, I think you just be a little discerning little bit and try to see what their intentions are before you let anybody back in you know try to like ask them a lot of questions like what are you up to what are you doing let me see if i can get a little bit of find out who this sign might be that's coming in because we do have so we do have air libra gemini aquarius and we also have fire aries leo sagittarius all right showing me an aries I don't know if you can see it. Wait, where is it? Oh, where'd it go? There it is. Oh, forget it. Can't see it. I, you guys, I'm going to be getting like brighter things here for my table. So you'll be able to write cards and dice and stuff. So you'll be able to see, but it showed up as an Aries. Now that doesn't necessarily mean that's who it is. If that resonates, take it. If it doesn't, for some of you, it, it was a good friend. I will say that. Okay. Don't try to force it to fit if it's not for you. Okay. All right, I'm going to leave that there for you. I will be back here tomorrow. If you want to get a personal reading, go to my moonpietarot.com website. I do have $99 discounted readings, phone call readings. So go ahead and book that for the month of November all the way till the end of the year. And uh, yeah, I will talk to you very soon. All right, you guys, take care. You said I was the only one. No one likes being like two. You made this mess and left me with the pee